Uh, I don't need the garlic just yet. Tonight, we are cooking chicken hearts. May I have the box? This is what we're cooking. They are little chicken hearts. They're delicious. You can open those The first thing you do when cooking chicken hearts is rinse them off. Okay, hurry up. Take a minute. Let's go. Let's go. Chop, chop. Ew, a liver. No, it's not a liver. That's coagulated blood. Ew, that's more disgusting. <laughs> Just rinse them off. I'm going to wash my hands. Rinse them off. Part two. <laughs> the first thing you want to do is cut them into quarters. This baby is cramping my knife cutting skills. Cut them into quarters. In fact, let's cut them in half and we'll just show you what goes on inside. See, they're pretty clean. What you want to do is make sure that you cut them into quarters and clean out any blood that you may see left inside the ventricles. These are actually very clean. Because you want you don't want to cook you don't want to cook with the blood in the actual. But actually, no, these are all extremely clean. Oh, so the, the, look at. Touch my hair. Yeah. Don't touch your hair. Don't touch your hair with your hands. Cut them in half. <laughs> and you can see it's so cool. You can see where the blood that one has pumps blood. through. For example, this one. It? Yeah, it's got a little blood in there. You don't really want to cook with that blood. You can rinse it off with water, but you want to clean them, and that's what you want to make sure is not in the chicken hearts. It'll give it a gritty. A big blood. Mm. In there? Yeah. A big blood. Help you, Daddy. Yeah, sure. uh, open up that garlic. There's more garlic on the table. No, but I want to do something. You want to do something? Push it down and peel the skin off. Look at this one. Here's a dirty one. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. Look at this. Yeah, this one's this one's dirty. This is what you want to avoid Ew. in the chicken hearts. It, it won't. It'll just give it a gamey. That's coagulated blood. This one we're actually going to rinse out with water. It is cooking night with baby. What do you have to say for yourself? <laughs> Here's a trick. How to peel garlic. Push it down with a knife. Oh, now peel it off. Now we're slicing the garlic into... I, I can't even see the garlic. On Cutthroat Kitchen, they should totally have one of these obstacles where you have to cook with a baby in a baby bjar. Cut your finger off. <laughs> okay, now we're just gonna mix it together. Put a little cracked pepper. And I think I brought some lemon, but whatever. Uh, okay. Oil in the pan. And I'll have to take the baby off when I start cooking on the oil so that it doesn't spray. We're gonna squeeze a little lemon on all of this. Pepper, garlic. I'm gonna put it in the pot. Yeah. Once I wash my hands, I will. I forgot something, the most important thing, a little bit of salt. Or else it tastes bad. <laughs> In every cooking show, they get kicked off for no salt. <laughs> the cameraman is right. The chicken hearts are cooking, you'll know when they're done. Because they will turn the done color of cooked meat. Which is not rare. Okay, it's recording, you wanna hold it? Now, I'm taking a chance. I'm letting the three-year-old camera woman hold the camera. <laughs> Your finger's awful close to the lens. Now your fingers are in the way of the lens. Ah. And boom. <laughs> You find that funny? <laughs> They're coming along perfectly. Look at how delicious this looks. This is a little trick they taught us back in homeschooled culinary school. Put a paper towel over it to retain the heat but let out the moisture. Look how delicious this looks. What do you say? Yeah, it does look gray, but it is gray meat, so... Oh, jeez, what did I just do that for? Okay, that was a judgment error to try to flip it with my left hand. Look at the beautiful chicken hearts. Wait, not yet, it's too hot. Let it cool down. You can blow on it for two, for like two minutes, and then we're going to have some. <laughs> you look a little crazy. Okay, he's out. And... Okay, now you can. Well, you can have more than one, but good? I wanna try. Mmm, <sighs> good. So good. And how would you describe the texture? Good. Chewy. Bouncy. Rubbery. And delicious. <laughs> that's all the. That's it. We're done. I had chicken heart for dinner. Thank you. Mm, I think it's on the dining room table. Thank you.
welcome. No. <laughs> I didn't know you were that close. I'm sorry. I caught it. Just eat the chicken. What? 